Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the uh, Two Men, so Army of Two Legendary Iron Man run. Uh, we are playing an unmodded game of uh, in the highest difficulty and I'm trying to beat the entire game with only using two soldiers per mission. Next up, Operation Broken Heart, which is a supply raid the game understands. We need alien alloys and we need a lot of um, alarium. So there are a couple of loot uh, crates in here. I am debating with myself whether or not I want to go with the Zirke, who could probably carry most of the mission, uh, specifically due, his, um, due, due to his skills. Maybe we're actually going to do that, I don't know. Um, the other option would be a low-level sniper and somewhat bunkering in and hoping that we could do it. But probably this here is the more thoughtful approach. So maybe we give Colonel uh, Zirkim actually a try and uh, test out how he performs on a mission. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Zirkim has received most of his promotions uh, through cover ops missions. So it's going to be interesting to see how uh, someone without really a lot of equipment, which is skills, can uh, can do. We know that from the four-man uh, ballistic-only uh, run. So let's see if we can live up to that reputation here as well. We're going in hot. I love it. Zirkim, Dragonova. Beautiful. And look at us. We even got the third uh, soldier. Now, I call that lucky. Zirkim, specifically, AoE, uh, Chain Shot. Both uh, beautiful options to deal a lot of damage. We do have Salvo with three grenades. That's good as well. Keep in mind we're untouchable. We have Death from above which uh, automatically um, tells us we want to go and take the high ground there. So is he ground. is stacked. He has all the tools at his disposal to be successful. In. And we have this no name resistance operative who is going to help us. I am trusting you. A patrol is up with. Oh, hello, hello. Let's block this uh, pathway here. Moving to designated position. And let's climb the high ground. Rolling out. Far enough away from one another to not be target of grenades. I think we're pretty safe up here. Oh, hello. Another patrol. If you guys could um, huddle up, that would be perfect. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Overwatch. No one will cross. Might as well see what's. Uh, What's available on this side of the map? Still looking for remote starts. 
those two guys want to climb up here. Okay, wait a second. We're going to prevent that from happening. So, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. The sector and uh, the and the mutant want to climb up here. I think that's a terrible idea. So what we're going to do is we're just positioning ourselves in front. Oh shit, they're down here. My bad. We should have positioned ourselves here. That would have prevented them from actually coming up. Because uh, sometimes the enemy kind of sniffs out where you are. Specifically after a certain time the AI gets a bit impatient. Moving as ordered. And when that happens, the they are usually starting to just move into your direction, regardless if they could know that you are there or not. Perfect. It seems as if they are close enough to a remote start. Oh my god, that's not that's not just a remote start, this is a remote destruction. That's a bit of a remote start. This is also a remote start, but this here. Uh-uh. That's a remote atomic bomb. Beautiful. Almost wasteful to just use it for two um, enemies at a time. But I think it's the best that we can get for now. So might as well use it. This is going to cost us quite some resources. Yeah, I'm okay with that, to be honest. On Overwatch. Got it covered. We're still receiving enough uh, supplies. So Mutant is somewhat running away. Okay. Got you. Shit happens. I can get there. We're moving back. Besides here, I just saw. Yep, there, right there, is an extra crate which we can use in order to. In order to um, get some additional loot. We're going to follow them quite soon. Just want to make sure Dragonova is kind of in the driver's seat here. I am at your service. All right, Overwatch, Overwatch. Those guys just run through the jungle. There's unfortunately no, no remote start back here. Switch this, uh, the sides for ones. Okay, they are moving closer. Uh, there could be a remote start here.
Okay, we need to kill the um, mutant because elsewise he might discover our operatives. And the only way to kill him without being discovered is to let Dragonova just finish him. These guys here... One of this here has already exploded. Yeah. These are the typical shenanigans that they are going to do. We're probably going to be discovered. Not probably, we are going to be discovered. This guy is going to come up. We can do an overwatch. We're very, very likely going to be discovered. I must move quickly. Dragonova was not fast enough on her way back. Unfortunate. There is another pack, by the way. There you go. Enemy destroyed. Hmm. The shrapnel deals eight points of damage. Just want to be in a position where we can actually use it without being discovered. Saturation fire almost reaches all the way up here. Reload, Overwatch, and Overwatch. We can use uh, the Claymore Grenade for the three of them. I don't want to die like this. Oh, really? Wow. So what just happened is uh, the tower collapsed and Dragonova took damage. Tch, this is ridiculous. Worst... Um, Worst uh, situation of just taking unnecessary damage that I've seen in a while. Okay, so the three do really not know where the damage was coming from, and that's good. Target eliminated. Dragonova is going to play Assassin here. And this will kill the Mac. Come get some. Ready to engage. Permanent covering now. They're a 
attempting to retreat. <laughs> He's not even retreating. Re up and reload. Being just a little bit closer. So we don't have a chance to miss this guy. Let's kill the shield bearer. Another ambush kill. Good. Dragonova took out two packs uh, by now. And we have two more packs to go. These guys here might as well end up um, figuring out where we are. For now, they are running through the jungle. There is another pair of aliens back there. Okay. Let's follow these guys here. Just in case. I must reload. Saturation fire, not even close. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to position. Overwatch. A sniper would be perfect right now. I am trusting you. My turn on watch. Come on it. Rolling. Scanning. The reason why I want to be careful with the way we're playing here is I know exactly what would happen if we're just engaging uh, them heads on would be a pretty swift and merciless death. So we need to somewhat get them into the range of the remote start here. I will reposition. I see everything. Come get some. Affirmative covering now. Or alternatively let them run into an overwatch trap. This here is already pretty close. Unfortunately, not close enough. I mean, if they were here, Saturation Fire would probably kill all of uh, the. Uh, or we could be able to kill all of them. Yeah, our grenades just also not fly that far. Well, look at you. So close, right? I'm on the move. Reapers are always vigilant. They now position themselves perfectly out of uh, Overwatch range. Okay, so if they are down there, this here would technically hit with them. It must.
All right, yeah. moving over here. Wow, seriously? Look at that. They managed to be not in range of the saturation fire. I congratulate the AI for knowing how pre uh, so precisely how to not be in a dangerous uh, how to not position yourself in a dangerous spot I will go. all right but i can do that as well look at this we're uh, closing one of uh, the main ways to get close to us and we're overwatching because fuck you Great example, by the way, of how the AI exactly knows where you stand. Like, this positioning here is so odd. Open ground, open ground, open ground. They're okay with all of it. They just want to make sure they are not in range. In Saturation Fire, which is pretty much the furthest that you, uh, that you can ever shoot, just barely doesn't reach them. But that is okay, maybe I can trick them. This here of course would trigger them. Maybe I can trick them into thinking they can come closer. When in reality they can't. Are they coming closer? Not a bit. Position confirmed. Good copy. Moving on target. All right. Let's try one more time. The saturation, like the saturation fire, that's really annoys me because they know exactly what's up. And they are barely, barely out of range, of course, like one tile with all of their... Alright. No, that would trigger them. I don't want to give uh, them the satisfaction of being able to trigger us. Mm -mm. Let me think through how we can solve that stallmate. I wish we could launch grenades just a bit further. Try again. Oh, well, we would get one. And with this saturation fire, we could get two of them.
Not sure if this is going to hit actually all of them. It's probably only going to hit one. This here is better. Hmm. We're where to trigger them now. Would be uh, would he be in a good position? Hmm. I mean, the other option is frag grenade. Start off with a frag grenade. No, that's too close. That would trigger them already. We're not close enough for a poison spit, but we are. We should uh, move to here. Alright, one more round of overwatch and then we can pull it off. Okay, we're not close enough for poison spit. I'm just thinking about the reaction. They will move in. And let's see if we can pull it off. Them all. That's one hit, two misses. Oh my god. Worst fire ever. Don't want to give up our position here because we're blocking uh, their way up. But this here is an even more valuable position. sure we're fighting against two enemies and not against three and one of the main problems is overwatch really doesn't mean shit because he has lightning reflexes <sighs> so I mean one of the things we could do is actually move over here and be closer to the ridge therefore be a more attractive target time. I think we're going to do that because I don't want Zirkim to take any damage Operative here is in half cover, that's perfect right. Of course I think I'm bleeding. The one time that we're not having any form of uh, the one time that we don't have any form of poison removal, we are getting poisoned. Could be a one shot. Hmm. Difficult to assess. I mean, 68%, uh, 64 percent is good. 50/50 for uh, like for a kill. It's probably even better. So let's try that. Nice. Good. There we go. Perfect. Going to take three points of damage from the poison. Thanks to this Viper. I go where you tell and again, thanks to this Viper. 
we might have Zirkim in the sick bay, which sucks. So that is we're in, we're not going to move because we are repoisoning then. Currently he seems to be fine. Um So we killed two of uh, the enemy packs, uh, three of the enemy packs. That's mean, uh, which means one is left over. This was probably the m most difficult pack that we have found. Let's see what the rest, uh, the last pack is up to. They are probably not going to move in our uh, into our direction. No, they are still just standing back here. And I'm wondering why there is this beautiful truck and why can't I just remote start the truck. On Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Oh, now they're going to move. Got you, got you. Okay. Yeah, see? That was definitely remote startable. No one will cross. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh my gosh. We nearly got detected. Look at this, how close. Hmm. Volk says I am to obey. Okay, let's stand next to the car. Are they going to join us again? Seems they hear the footsteps and kind of move into our direction. Okay, maybe we need to slowly but surely sneak up. I will reposition. Ten four. It's the last pack. So I'm not expecting that they are going to join us here. Might as well run over and kill them. Hmm. Can we remote start them? Like right where they are. As you order, Commander. No. Why wouldn't they position themselves like here? We're going to take some high ground.
Alright, let's get out of line of sight. Just making sure they don't know that we're here. It's interesting to see that they uncover us now. So this here would fully hit uh, both of them. That's actually pretty good. Dragonova could move into full cover here, which is probably the best full cover she could get. I was hoping she could still remote start this uh, machine there. She can't, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Saturation fire. Nice little critical. Shredded everything. Let's get into low cover and be a good target for everyone. Killing the mutant first. Purifier next. to take one shot into full cover no into half cover and actually that's good Back into the shadows. I go where you tell me. Let's move her here. Bombs away. This here should remove the line of sight blocking, and we should be able to kill him afterwards. Down to six. We're going to stand in open ground, so we're the best potential target for him. Down to 1 HP, and Dragonova will now take the kill, 100% shot. There we go. Remember, they are not victims. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Yeah, difficult mission. We have had some bad luck by just receiving two points of damage on Dragonova for actually standing on a collapsing tile that was yeah somewhat stupid 
and the other two damage from Poison Spit. Might as well should have taken a medikit, knowing that there are a couple of uh, vipers around. Would have reduced our grenades to two, and it would have still worked. So let's take a look. Alarium 14, that's probably not enough overall. The Alloys 37, that's good. I'm not sure if it's enough for us to upgrade the armor. Supplies is good as well. So it's an okay raid. Commander, if you come across any skilled recruits out there, we could always use the help in engineering. Soldier bond available. Interesting. I think everyone already has their bonds. I might be missing something. Oh, wait a second. We wanted to see if we can upgrade the armor, right? Right. Great, another scientist. Just after the alien alloys, we're going for the scientist. Hey, Commander. All right, look at that predator armor, just enough alien alloys. Great. The aptly named predator armor should give our soldiers increased longevity in the field. Nice, we got ourselves another uh, slot that we can fill. I'm looking for blue screen rounds because they will be super helpful. Mind shields also very very good. Proving rounds will be done in three days. So let's get the alien alloys here. There we go. Another 37 alien alloys. That was good. And we got proving grounds, finally. Welcome to the proving grounds, Commander. It seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more. First thing, blue screen a protocol. 18 days, yes please. I'll have the team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. We might want to speed it up to nine days because I actually really need it. The rest can just go through. We are delaying other important investments, such as getting uh, our um, nursery station. But it is what it is. For now, we just need to get the most important stuff first. Um, yeah, let's go for the scientist. Still want to keep the scientist counts up. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. The aliens. All right, uh, new proving grounds project plasma grenade is great, and the advanced uh, grenade launcher is also good because of larger. Um, explosive radius. Interchangeable upgrades are good. The question is, am I really going to use them? Or we want the weapons of uh, the uh, of the Chosens anyways. And for now I'm actually fine with the weapons that we do have. We do not need that many weapons. Um, instead, we are one Alarium short of continuing our research here.
I mean, the upgrades don't get me wrong, it's really good. But for this run, we don't need that many weapon upgrades. We're continuing with the Viper Autopsy next. Although I would expect to. Viper Autopsy next, and I've let's maybe buy. At the scar on my neck. We do have only I 48 intel. But maybe we can buy some Alerio. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. Nice. Health increased by one. Let's, in, uh, let's continue with promotions. I think the six day promotion was uh, the best one. Hmm. Whom would we put uh, onto the uh, onto this mission? I mean, Roby would go to captain. Roby could go for uh, uh, for the next run and become a colonel. Uh, the other option is. Magister, because high-level Templars are really, really good. Uh, but we already have a lot of um, good abilities on the Templar already. Another option could be Renvin, just to match the Colonel status of uh, Zirkum. So that we do have a pair of Colonels in case it's necessary. We might want to do that for now. Huh, let me think. You know what? The next level for Roby would be Threat Assessment, and that's actually pretty good. Hmm, it's a difficult choice. Now, let's go with Renvin and uh, we're going to level him up to the highest level. So that we do have two uh, kernels. We will work hand in hand with our new allies. Good. We got Roby and Magister back in business. Well, it's good enough for now. We got Zirkim if needed. Both Dragonover and um, Edgarian Poe are out of combat. Edgar needs job. some levels. He's only a sergeant, so we definitely need to level him further. Still not completely sold uh, which team I'm going to use for the actual missions. It's good to have uh, some sort of of uh, variety. Soon we're going to be attacked. I don't like that at all. The resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them down. Commander, the aliens continue to make so Avatar Pro uh, project is making uh, uh, continuous uh, continuous progress. I think at the end of the month uh, we will need to get the Black Side facility. And there we go. That's an engineer, which we're probably going to do. Oh, <laughs> only soldiers of uh, sergeant ranks or lower are accepted here. Um, okay, well, that could be an issue. Very difficult, doesn't sound like a good, uh, a good option for us. And this year, god damn, I don't want to have signal jamming, so maybe we need to work for the 95 Intel. Also this year is <laughs> here the squad size would be theoretically limited to three soldiers. What a joke. Um, 
we're anyways limiting it to two soldiers. So I'm going to uh, see about this in the next mission, guys. Um, it's getting late here and I had a lot of fun today. Played a lot uh, of missions just to record some uh, for you. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, please be so kind and leave a like and uh, consider subscribing. I see you in the next video. Thanks and take care.